we are back guys with another movie review and this one is uh the one i've been waiting for slother house emily young is a senior in college who wants to be elected as her sorority's president so she adopts a cute sloth thinking that it can become the new mascot until the sloth surfs the internet and goes on a killing spree yeah so that sounds pretty valid. Slaughterhouse is directed by Matthew Goodhue, who doesn't have much in terms of filmography. He's done a few shorts here and there, but this is his second feature film. And um, yeah, I, I like the way that this is going. You know, I mean, I'm wearing the Winnie the Pooh shirt. So you already know I'm down for this weird, really bad that is so good horror films. But let's get into this. Let's get into the nitty gritty of the sloth movie, the killer sloth. When I saw that this was coming out, I was like, okay, you know, this is going to be my jam. This is going to be top four for sure. And while it doesn't hit my top four of the movies that have come out this year, if you want to go see that list, go check out my letterbox and you can see what I've ranked all the movies that I've watched so far this year. So you can go check that out and see where Slaughterhouse ranks among them all. But I will say that Slaughterhouse is exactly what I wanted. You know, I came into this movie not expecting much. And if you did come into this movie expecting much, first of all, I mean, you know, hey, that's your opinion. You know, you can have it, you can have it. But um, it's a, a killer sloth um, that looks like this. So uh, I don't know what you're expecting, <laughs> but I expected some really cheesy, bad line delivery, some pretty bad acting, and some fun times with the killer sloth killing people for no apparent reason. And it exceeded my expectations because we got some sloth surfing the internet, going on Instagram and driving a Mustang. I mean, what more can you ask for? And if you've been with me in this channel for a long time, you know that I am a sucker for animatronics, especially if you are doing a horror film, a creature feature like this film, you gotta have some practical effects in there. The more practical effects, the better in my opinion. And in this one, we got animatronics and I know that most of the budget went to this thing and I'm so glad that they made that decision because this thing's amazing. It's awesome. It really is like a throwback to like the late 90s, early 80s when everything was animatronic. Even in the Winnie the Pooh film, you know, that mask that Winnie the Pooh was wearing and Piglet, that was a prosthetic, you know, practical effects. There was some, some CGI in there and there is some CGI in this film, but more practical and animatronics than there is CGI and like I said, that's that's the best thing in the world for these kind of movies. And speaking of Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey, while I enjoyed that film, a lot of people were kind of mad that this movie didn't go full camp. You know, the Winnie the Pooh movie is a little bit more serious than most people want it to be. And I, I'm kind of in that camp too. Well, like I said, I like the film and I think it's interesting and I can't wait to see where they go from there. I mean, they're trying to make a cinematic universe where they're gonna have Winnie the Pooh, Peter Pan, and Bambi all in the same universe, assuming killing people and each other possibly. So I'm gonna support that. But we did want a little bit more camp and hopefully the sequel will have that. But this film, Slaughter House, this is what you want in a campy horror film. I mean, it, it's camp. The dialogue that is in this film doesn't make sense, but it's, I think it's intentional, you know, intentional to be cringe, intentionally to be uh, misleading and not making any sense. There's plot holes in this film. There's random stuff that happens that you're like, where did that even come from? And it's all part of the camp. It's all part of this, this melting pot of Slaughter House. So if you are someone that, you know, wants their horror to be like A24 standards, you know, the high standards, the hereditaries, the midsummers, stuff that is, you have to think and burn your brain on, then this isn't gonna be the movie for you. <laughs> this isn't gonna be the movie for you. This is for people that just wanna have a good time, wanna eat some popcorn, just wanna laugh at the stupidness and ridiculousness that is this film. Don't try to overanalyze this thing. Don't try to think about it. Just suspend your disbelief because I mean, you already kind of have to if you're watching this movie, it's a freaking killer sloth. So I don't know what you're expecting. One of the funniest things that I thought that was in this film is the soundtrack that they play for the sloth. It's kind of like in between of a, a kid's TV show, <laughs> like soundtrack and like just a little cutesy baby 
lullaby thing. I don't know. It's really funny that when every time they play that when the sloth is there, even when it's about to kill people, it's really funny. It gets annoying a little bit, <laughs> but I, I really enjoyed that aspect. As far as performances, like I said, this movie isn't going to be any Oscar worthy, you know, nominations in here. Uh, there's a couple people that I think there will stand out. There's a lady here, a uh, comedian. She's really good. She plays like the house mother of the sorority. She's hilarious. She, she has a scene in the film later on towards the film where she just has like her monologue and it's probably the funniest thing that I've seen in a while in a movie. Uh, this whole movie is just very entertaining. I love this film. But the most important thing that I wanna know guys is what did you think of this film? Are you gonna go see it? Have you seen it already? Let me know in the comments down below. Is there going to be a sequel to this? Because I stayed till the end credits and there was nothing at all. And the only thing I saw at the end was Slaughterhouse. That's all I saw. It didn't say Slaughterhouse returns or is going to return or Slaughterhouse 2 or anything, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. And also guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. We are almost hitting 2000 subscribers. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of exciting. It's kind of scary at the same time because I'm like, okay, there's a lot more people going to be watching this, but uh, I'm ready for it. And thank you guys again for your support. I really love making these videos. I'm not here to try to be rich or anything like that. I'm just, you know, this my free time. The world is burning literally. And I just want to talk about a killer sloth and um, a couple other movies. <laughs> but guys, don't forget to check out my letterbox so you can see all the reviews that I've done and me giving star ratings, you know, actual ratings to these movies. I know some of you were like, well, what's your rating, bro? Um, I don't really like scores, but if you want scores, go check that out on my letterbox. And as always, guys, keep watching movies.